Hello, sweet souls. So I'm doing this reading by request. Um, this is not typically the type of reading that I do, but I'm going to do it because I've had several people request it. This is what their karma is for maliciously hurting the collective, for willfully causing you horrible suffering. And I also want to let you guys know I have a really good special uh, for private readings in June. It'll go on for the entire month of June. If you're interested, text me. I will give you the information. So I'm going to get started. This will be a full-length YouTube video. Um, so head over there and watch it when I'm done. And don't forget I'm doing um, giveaways. Um, free reading, mid-June, end of June, every mid-month and end of month. You have to like, subscribe, and comment. So their karma they know that you are a soulmate twin flame. They know this now. Now they um, they want to put in the work because they see the truth of your connection. They feel very imbalanced. Um, because of their player ways, because they treated you like an option, now all they can do is sit and think, reminisce about you. Every connection that they get in, it's you they think about. They can't get over the fact that they threw away a soul union, that they refused to put in the work and now they so desperately want to. But they're still a player. All they can do is sit and think. Remember, they wanna rush in. This person wants to rush in. They have the desire to rush in so desperately. But they're receiving divine judgment, karma. Nothing in their life is going right because of what they did to you. They maliciously and willfully destroyed you. They tried to break you. Lovers in reverse. They lost divine love. Playing the victim doesn't work anymore. No one believes them. All along they blamed you. Not only have they lost divine love, but they've lost their credibility. They're not seen as a victim anymore. People are starting to see exactly who they are. Now they feel this horrible stabation that they gave you. Now they are suffering this pain. And they suffer in silence because they can't um, expose themselves for what they really are. They can't speak the truth because then it would make them a monster. And they don't want anyone to know how they truly are. Wish fulfillment in reverse. All of the wishes and dreams that they had because of the things they did to you, they'll unfulfilled wishes. Their wishes won't come true. In fact, it'll be the direct contrast to their wishes. It'll be the direct opposite. Now, they so desperately want this passionate new beginning with you, but they know they can't. So part of their karma is having this crazy desire physical desire, sexual desire for you. And they see you as a grounded, stable partner. They can't find anyone like you. In all their player ways, messing around with every person that would have them, they can't find another you. And once again, it's you that they think about constantly. They watch you blow up, karma again. They watch you be grounded, stable, and secure alone not needing them. And for this person, that's almost as bad as the Ten of Swords, the stabation, because they cannot stand to lose that control over you. When they left you, when they destroyed you, or attempted to destroy you, they released their sunshine, their only happiness they will ever truly have. They released joy, happiness.
go. They're surrounded by people that deceive them. All the deception that they gave you, all the lies, now they're surrounded by people they don't trust because they're being deceived. They're being talked about. This person that went around to every person that would listen to try to convince them they were the victim and you were the bad guy. Now people are talking about this person. They're trying to manifest this financial stability, but they feel like a fool and nothing's working out for them. Not financial stability. You know, none of their manifestations are working. They lost divine love. They lost peace in their life. They won't have real love or peace ever. Because the life that you gave them, they'll never find in another person. They have no strength. They feel weak. Because they have to relive over and over the cowardly things that they did to you. They know the cycle has ended. They lost the one true divine partner that was loving and kind and nurturing that truly cared for them. They lost it. It's over. surrounded by conflict they constantly have to defend themselves they're trying to escape they're trying to escape deception they're a narcissist they can't escape it because it's all around them what they did is all around them now they want to come forward with this love offer they want to communicate but they can't they know they can't because they can't stand in integrity and speak the truth. Yeah. Now, the love that they are offering other people is being rejected. Like they rejected you and the love that you were giving them, they're being rejected. They feel trapped. Trapped in their own mind, their own thoughts, because they can't speak of it to anyone else. Because it would implicate that they had fault. So they suffer alone in silence in their own thoughts, in their own mind. Everything in their world is falling apart. And you won't have anything to do with them because you see the truth. You stand in your own integrity and you know your value. This person has no hold on you anymore. This person is going to have to watch you receive divine love. Someone that will be emotionally giving that they never gave to you. Someone will have passion for you, but that will be a king. It will force them into hermit mode and self-reflection. They will see themselves truly as God sees them. They'll so desperately want to come and give you this offer as a page when you have a king. And they know it's not good enough because you're an empress. They know your value, and that's, it's killing them. They want victory with you, but they haven't listened to the divine. They've, they've ignored their own intuition. They have no spiritual they're not open to spiritual guidance at all. So they will never have the Ten of Pentacles that you will have. Complete happiness, love, loyalty, a family union, because third party. That's all they cared about was being a player. Because they were so broken and insecure, they had to seek other people for validation because they felt like you were too good for them. Yeah the chariot in reverse. This is positive forward movement. 
This is not being able to escape the past. Being stuck, filled with anxiety and regret, sleepless nights, replaying their own behaviors over and over and knowing they can't do anything about it because they can't stand in integrity. They can't come forward and speak the truth. Their karma is being trapped in an endless cycle, an endless cycle of regret, remorse, self-blame, self-reflection, and wanting you and still loving you and knowing they threw you away for someone else. Wanting so desperately to come forward and give me this offer because you are the world. Seeing you have your wishes come true. Following your own passions and dreams. They have to watch. Now they feel rejected, left out in the cold, just as they did you. Now they are receiving breadcrumbs from people that they bring into their life because they're being used for money. This person is being used for whatever financial gain they can give to another. And this person they're with is only giving them bits and pieces to string them along just like they did you. They have to um, come to the realization and acceptance that you're done with them. You turned your back, it's over. And they see all your beauty. They see how loving and kind and spiritual you are and all the things they mocked about you. They know, they know your value now. Hmm. Truth and clarity, being um, exposed. Everything's going to be exposed. This is very difficult for this person because this person cares about their status and how other people view them. And it's just gonna fill them with even more regret because everyone will see exactly who they are. The devil, toxic. Someone that took a divine love and made them an option. Someone that put this divine partnership in a third party situation. Now this person is heavily burdened, heavily burdened. Oh, okay guys, that was the, their karma for maliciously and willfully hurting you. Um, like I said, I don't really like doing those readings. It's heavy energy, um, but I did want to post it because I've had a lot of requests for it. If you guys want a personal reading, you can text me 859-307-1381. I have a really good um, uh, special going on for June. It's a really good one. Um, so message me if you're interested, and I will forward the information to you. And I hope you guys have a great Sunday. I love you. Bye-bye.